You mentioned thrips, and just give, give me an idea how bad thrips can be for an onion. Uh, thrips are the primary insect pest on onions uh, throughout pretty much anywhere onions are grown. In the U.S., it's mostly onion thrips. Here, it's mostly tobacco thrips most year, uh, but they cause a similar type of damage. We're actually very fortunate in that we don't typically have extremely high populations. When I was in South Texas, a normal to high population was 50 to 100 thrips per plant. Uh, here, it's rare that we get above about 25 per plant under a heavy year. They can get higher than that, but but they but they they typically we don't deal with huge pressures here. But they can be. They are a pest that requires control in many years. What kind of damage can they do? They actually, uh, it's called rasping, but they actually puncture plant cells and then drink the fluids as it, as it seeps out. But it interferes, basically it interferes with photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. And you get enough damage, it, it cuts down on photosynthetic pro, uh, production, and you end up actually with a smaller bulb. So depending on what bulb size is, is most marketable, which most years are the larger bulbs, <coughs> if you end up with smaller bulbs, you end up with less valuable crop. Wow. Is it important to know what kind of thrips you are dealing with? Because can they, the, yeah. the different types require different, uh, pet, different control strategies? Yeah, the, the two that we have, uh, typically we can run into, the tobacco thrips and the onion thrips, respond very differently to pesticides. So depending on which one you have, you would select your pesticide selection would be different. So it is very important you know, to know which type of thrips you have in order to, to get the best uh, utility out of whatever insecticide you need to use. Jason, can you just give me an idea what uh, this uh, Vidalia Onion Conference is all about? Why it is important for you guys to be able to kind of communicate to your growers what's going on in the onion okay. industry? Well, we have this field day um, every year right before our onion harvest really gets kicked off in the full steam. Uh, just let our, uh, our onion producers, guys who are working in the industry, whether it's chemical reps, uh, seed reps, things like that, just kind of let them know what we, go, what we got going on as far as uh, our, our, our fungicide trials, our insecticide trials, our variety trials. Uh, just letting the growers, we work really close hand in hand with our growers. Our growers are very in tune to the research projects we got going on. And uh, they just like to hear what we've got going on because they want to take this information as soon as they can get it. And as soon as we know that we're giving them the good, proper information, go out there and apply it to their farm. Obviously, you know, being in Baidu, this is a, you know, onion country, really. How can you just give me an idea how big uh, the onion industry is here in Georgia? Well, I mean, it is, it's huge, especially for uh, Toombs and Tacoma County. I mean, it, it, you know, if I, the onion production is, uh, if you look at the farm gate, it is typically year in, year out, uh, the number one vegetable uh, commodity on the farm gate. And again, it's usually the number one vegetable for both Toombs and Tacoma counties. Uh, and we're sitting right here in the heart of uh, onion country uh, right here on the Toons Tatna line, which is an ideal to have this research farm and be able to do the research right here in our growers' backyards uh, where the growers can come by anytime they want to see what we've got going on and uh, uh, get an idea and look at the research projects. Can you give me an idea what's the latest with the onion industry, what people should you know these days be concerned with? Well, I mean, as far as we, as always, we are trying to put the best product out there. So again, we're working with some of these different varieties, uh, making sure that we've got the best quality onion, the best varieties out there for our growers uh, to grow so they can produce the absolute best product in the industry and continue creating this Vidalia onion, which is the world famous and the most sweetest onion in the world. And also just, you know, we're trying to keep them on the cutting edge, making sure that, you know, if we do ever run into disease problems, if we ever do run into insect problems, hey, we're doing the research, the research is out there, you know, that we can hopefully, if we do run into these problems, solve them quickly and uh, uh, get the farmers, you know, being profitable.